Mushy Mushy. Hi everyone. I am Sylvan Agaric, the Virtual Alchemist in Virtual Island Training. Welcome. Welcome to the Potion Shop. <laughs> How are you guys all doing? How are you guys all doing? It's it's been it's been a short while again. <laughs> uh it's, it's nice to be back in the potion shop and streaming again. How are you guys doing? Oh my god, so is that a baby? Mmm. <laughs> kind of, kind of. We'll see, we'll see. Um, today I am playing, uh, today I'm playing an indie game called, uh, Mushroom Musume, which is, it's sort of a mushroom raising simulator. <laughs> so I thought it would be really fun. How are you doing, by the way, Raina? How are you? How are you? I'm, s <laughs> I'm super nervous because I haven't streamed in such a long time. It's, it's been a while. Uh, mm. <laughs> but yeah, how are you guys doing? It's been, it's been a couple of weeks. It's been a couple of weeks. Let us go ahead and head to the game. Mm. Ah. Oh, the BGM is too loud? Okay, hold on. Thank you, thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> I'm fine. How's the kids boy in the world? I'm doing fine also. It's very hot though. <laughs> it's been hot for a while. It's p part of the reason why I haven't been streaming. Because it's been like so, so very hot. And also, uh, the potion shop has also been very busy. And a lot of other things. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm glad. I'm very glad to get back to streaming now. I've, I've missed it. Mm-hmm. Oh, another reason. <laughs> another reason is, uh, uh, I've been, <laughs> I, I was trying really hard to, uh, get through Final Fantasy XIV to be Endwalker, and I, uh, finally, <laughs> after a lot of hard work, I finally finished the expansion. Not the, not the, um, patches. I still need to do the patches, but <laughs> I, I finished Endwalker, and I'm really proud about that. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> <clears throat> let me do, let me do a good voice. <gasps> Once upon a time, there was a humble recluse. <gasps> That's me. They had no need for society. However, they did often find themselves with an unshakable loneliness. <laughs> did you cry? Actually, I did cry. <laughs> okay. I probably, I'll probably talk about this in the, another stream. I, I might do a Zatsudan, honestly. Because I have a lot of things I need to talk about that happened in Endwalker. Like, so many things happened. Oh, maybe maybe I'll talk about it with, with you, Reyna. Because <laughs> I, I want to talk about the story so badly. <clears throat> they had no need for society. However, they did often find themselves with an unshakable loneliness. One day, while foraging, a wan wandering witch overheard the recluse's inner desires. The witch approached them with an offer. Do for me three simple things. When they are done, I will present you with your deepest desire, a child. The recluse, caught in a moment of naivety, quickly agreed. If it is a child you are looking for, here is the first thing you will do. Bring me an heirloom, something that your child will forever value. The recluse thought of it briefly searching through their home for the object they had pictured. Wow. My most used cast iron skillet. Mm hmm. Recluse it is. I did. I, I am. I don't leave the potion shop usually. <laughs> mm hmm. This game is very fitting for me. Uh, and also, I don't think I talk about it very much on stream. But I actually, I really do love mushrooms. Like so much, I haven't I haven't grown mushrooms in a while though, because I've been kind of focused on the potion shop and streaming. But I would love to like get back into it again. Oh, a glimmering music box, a dark weather tome. <laughs> I think what would be something I would want to pass on. I think the music box probably. I think the music box is probably a good gift. 
softly singing a delicate tune and hauntingly beautiful, the music box would provide her something to strive for in life. Isn't music is still kind of loud. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. There we go. Bringing their prize back to the witch, she simply gave a sweet smile. How perfect. After their brief detour to meet with the witch, the recluse resumed their normal day-to-day -day schedule. Second day. Yeah, there's no way you have a use <laughs> going. I cook sometimes. I cook sometimes. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm okay at cooking. I'm not the best, I admit. <laughs> you completed your first task admirably. Two more and I can finally give you what you want. There have been some <clears throat> things I've been meaning to get to. Press one off the list for me. Not realizing that they were simply saving the witch some time, the recluse determined which tasks they were most suited for. Test a selection of elixirs for quality. I'm good at potions, so this one probably. Not enough for a skeleton to be an heirloom. I guess you're right, I guess you're right. Organize a surprisingly understated, understated collection of keepsakes. I am not very organized. I don't think I can do that. We stock a selection of unsettling components. <laughs> That's very vague. That's very, very vague. Okay. I think elixirs probably. Is this dangerous? No, this will be fine. Surely the witch wouldn't offer anything that could kill or maim. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You try to clear your head of worries as you carefully sit. Arriving back to their meeting point, the recluse was excited to report their progress to the witch. Ah, very good. How kind of you. After quickly wiping themselves themselves down, the recluse returned to their hut for the remainder of the night. Third day. This is the last task. With two assignments complete, the recluse could feel their excitement grow. With one last chore, I will be done with you. Listen well. Mm -hmm. Petals are a powerful thing. They make their intentions known without a single word. Go forth and return with the flower that most speaks to you. Cardinal flowers of prideful red bloom. Witch hazel. Yellow rays of golden healing light. Cattails. <gasps> Cattails are cute. Cattails gently sw swaying brown reeds. Okay. Are cattails a flower, though? Would that count? I think cattails. <laughs> As your boots sink ever so gently at the edges of a marsh, you spot some wild cattails. You remember that cattails symbolize peace, something you find yourself hoping that your daughter will always have. You make your way back with the cattail in hand. Discovered color. You return to the witch's location with your bloom in hand. She silently took the flower, nodding her head to you in recognition and gesturing that you were free to go. Fourth day. The recluse knew the faded hour had arrived, the time to reap the rewards of their efforts. However, they should have known that everything is for a cost. Hmm. She is yours, recluse. On one final condition. Promise me one of these things and you'll be in agreement. Pay me now with wealth. Pay me now with with life. Pay me some time soon in larger quantities. Pay me at a much later date in the way I choose. <laughs> uh Paying them now with money seems like the safest option. <gasps> We're just gonna pay them. <laughs> I don't want to risk making a witch mad. Uh, they offered their coin purse to the witch, and she took it wordlessly. After pocketing the whole pouch, she returned a single coin to the recluse's hand. This will be sufficient, the witch smiles. With the matter of payment settled, she simply smiled and handed the recluse a small pot. Oh, I was the witch all along? Aww. <laughs> that makes sense, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. 
perhaps does not yet look like much. Time. Give it lots of time, and your wish will soon come true. I suppose, though, that there is one last thing. A name. You must give your daughter a name. <gasps> oh, I have the perfect name. I have the perfect name. The recluse thought on the witch's demand before offering the final thing they had to give. <gasps> I promised I would name... If I ever had a kid, I would name my child this. Then she walked away, only fate knowing if the two should ever meet again. <laughs> Hi, Zachara. Welcome, welcome. It better not be. <laughs> it's a cute name. It's a cute name. It's French. It's French. <laughs> Why are you upset? It's cute. It's a cute name. Uh, chapter two, Cultivation. Though the recluse was unsure of the specifics, they did realize that it was important to heed her instructions. Care for the pot and the dirt and everything that lay within. So the recluse geared up, as any parent should, and assessed the things they needed to raise a child. Finances, in case a vill nearby village had goods or services that you could not provide. Nutrients for the child to help it grow strong. They would need plenty, as it would be depleted on a daily basis. And finally, the recluse's own stamina could not be ignored. One cannot burn the candle from both ends indefinitely. Thus began the longest growing season of the recluse's life. Have fun being a single parent. Mm. Why, why? Harsh weather has taken its toll on your garden and your entire harvest was lost. I'll let you name the next one. I'll let you name the next child. Harsh weather has taken its toll on your garden and your entire harvest was lost. Oh. If you don't get the garden started again soon, you and your daughter might be tight on sustenance. Hmm, okay, hold on. Let me see my sets. Nutrients is at 8. Finances are at a 1. Stamina is at 8. Uh, so I think... Times are tough. Offer your daughter some old food. Maybe she'll like it. No, we're not going to do that. <clears throat> Hello, didn't want to interrupt your reading. So what game are we in for today? We are playing a an indie game called uh, Mushroom Musume, where it's a mushroom raising simulator. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, hold on, I'm looking for the link. <laughs> Actually, I think I put the link to this game. There should be a link to the itch.io page in the description if you want to try out the game for yourself. Uh, I think we should- I think we should till the garden again. No use crying over ruined crops. You simply make adjustments to be more successful for the current season. <gasps> Part of your crops, these would be good for the girl anyways. Decision being made, life continued. <gasps> Nutrients is at 10. That's good. You realize that buried in your new goal, you've forgotten to feed yourself or procure any human food, really. What seems like the most nutritious op option? What was this? Mushroom for again? Look, <laughs> no, 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 we're not doing that. <laughs> to the woods for foraging. To the village, their, their market has many enticing goods. Sneak morsels away from your charge. Okay. We don't... We don't have money, so we can't go to the village. We definitely cannot eat the mushroom child. Oh, hi, Yohei. Welcome, welcome. It's, it's missing. <laughs> don't say that. Don't say that. Right now, so... <laughs> mm. No, no, we're not eating the mushroom child. We're not going to eat the child. Stamina's at six. Okay. Let's... I don't want to... Hmm. Let's forge. Let's forge. You can make another... <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not eating the child. You know where to find food. It's been something that you've never struggled with previously. 
It's part of you, and nothing can change that, not even a mushroom. Making your way to your favorite nook, you quickly find what you are after. Of course, the generous bounty of treats for your daughter is a nice bonus. You named her Alma. It's only fair. <laughs> Alma is a cute name. Alma's a cute name. The music is very nice. I wonder if they composed this themselves. Making your way to- oh, I read, I read that. Decision being made, life continued. <gasps> oh, she changed. Well, one morning you waken with a weight on your chest and open your eyes to find a heavy mushroom sitting atop you. The creature has grown little arms and legs and demonstrates her newfound mobility by clambering off the bed as you wake. Her demeanor seems cheerful, wandering about in an excitable, inquisitive mood. You guys can't hear the music? Is it really that quiet? Is that better? Can you guys hear that? Is it not capturing the audio? Wait, can you guys not hear anything at all? Oh shoot, I don't even know what- <laughs> I don't even know what the scenario was. One morning, you awaken with a weight on your chest and open your eyes to find a heavy mushroom sitting atop you. Uh, the creature has grown with little arms and legs and demonstrates her newfound mobility by clamoring off the bed. Wait, the devs are here. Oh my gosh, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. I love your game, welcome. <laughs> Hold on, let me catch up on chat, I'm sorry. Uh, mushrooms are tasty and fairly high in iron. They are, they are. I love mushrooms. Uh, Mushroom, Mushroom Dev is here watching too, welcome. She's a cute face just like you. Thank you, Rena. thank you. I will steal your daughter, no, you can't. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I think I'm caught up. Welcome, welcome, Dows. Ah, I'm nervous now. <clears throat> uh, her, her demeanor seems cheerful, wandering about in an excitable, inquisitive mood. Uh, encourage her optimism. Spend time nurturing her environment. Motivate her to be more practical. Encourage her optimism. Uh, your daughter's development is going better than expected, and you want to promote her cheerful nature. Encourage her to appreciate beautiful things, bring her to that flower-filled glade you once visited. <gasps> nice! Enthralled by the wondrous, wondrous sights, appreciating nature quickly becomes her favorite pastime. She spends much of her time wandering outside. The decision being made, life continued. Just think of it as exotic cuisine. Come on. No, I'm not eating my mushroom daughter stops the Charles. <sighs> One day you awake slightly earlier than you typically do. In your somewhat som somnambulant state, you hear an ethereal singing that seems to originate from your garden. When you go out, you spot it. A small fairy clad in brown is sitting amongst your crops. <gasps> Offer a coin to the fairy to gain their favor. Catch the fairy to sell in town. Hunt the fairy to, you, to use as food for your daughter. Build a small fairy garden in your daughter's room using supplies. Is she a magical mushroom daughter? She is. Uh, do not consume the child. Let her grow. <laughs> no, she's not emergency food either. A fairy eater. Hmm. I am, I might, I, <laughs> I am kind of curious what would happen if I fed her the fairy. Okay, we'll do it. <laughs> oh gosh, I feel like that's the evil choice. You know well what to do with strange winged beasts. You fetch your bo oh no, oh no, okay. You figure it can be used the same way as a bird prepared over five. Oh my god, instantly I regret it. <laughs> you hope that it will infuse your daughter with something special. She is already fate touched. Perhaps this will feel something in her. That was much with <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> uh fairy blood. You have been thoroughly saturated with the essence of dead fairies. <laughs> 
You're also a magical creature. Is that cannibalism? Ah. Uh, mm hmm hmm they touch just like me, yeah, yeah. I feel guilty already. One evening, you hear a light knocking at your door. Quite a rare occurrence. Peeking through the window, you witness none other than the witch of the woods standing on the doorstep of your humble hut. <gasps> it's Raina again. Could she be here for a visit or to settle a debt? Introduce her to your daughter. Privately request a statement. <laughs> Asking for child support. Haha, uh -huh, I see, I see. Introduce her to- let's introduce her. Perhaps it was time for your daughter to meet the witch. She can maybe even learn a thing or two. Oh, she could learn magic! The two of you answer the door and invite the gloomy woman inside for dry and awkward small talk. Oh, awkward small talk, she is my daughter. You're really gonna ask me? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Uh, something about the way you two- Something about the way the two absently stare at each other. You wonder if they've made some sort of connection today. <gasps> Decision being made, life continued. You've developed some small connection with your creator, the Witch of the Woods. Cute. A flock of hungry birds have been harassing your crops and daughter recently. They've become quite the nuisance. Fetch your bow and hunt the birds. No, we're not doing that. I feel bad about the fairy already. Buy some poison. No, no. <laughs> Ignore the birds. Ignore the birds. We're not killing anything else. <laughs> uh, nothing to be done. Past will be past, but life must carry on. Nothing more can be done to the birds. The matter was like to rest. Sometime later. One morning, you know, yeah. One morning, you notice that your daughter is nowhere to be seen. After an hour of searching a nearby area, you find her walking in a nearby meadow. To your surprise, the creature had now taken the form of a young girl. You feel relieved to confirm that the witch hadn't betrayed you. At your approach, she turns and grins at you excitedly, before continuing to appreciate her surroundings. Sit and watch her play. Buy her a nice gift to celebrate. Tell her it's time to go home. How much money do we have? We still only have one money. Uh, maybe I should have asked for child support. <laughs> Let's just watch her play for now. Oh, her portrait changed again. <gasps> oh. <laughs> her face is really cute. Child question mark? Despite a rocky introduction, your daughter is as civil as any human child now. Mm -hmm. Your daughter seems content to do her own thing, so you decide to let her play in the meadow as long as she likes. Taking a seat near her, you appreciate the beauty of the forest and spend time thinking lovingly of your daughter. That's so sweet. <laughs> After some time, she tires of running about and bringing you pretty things. You pick the exhausted girl up, and the two of you return home. The decision being made, life continued. You realize that you've finished all your work for the week, and have a whole day free. <gasps> Take your daughter on a scenic hike, spend some time cleaning up, teach your daughter some important lessons. Take your daughter to see the Witch of the Woods. Mm hmm. Okay, let's go see, let's go see your mom. You take your daughter to meet the witch once again, so she might learn a little more from her. The witch is happy to see you both, and spends a pleasant evening with the two of you. It seems like she's developed quite a fondness for the little mushroom girl. Maybe the witch considers the both of you like family. Hi Tommy, uh, hi, 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 hi Oliver. <laughs> Chow King 666 thank you for the follow, thank you for the subscription, thank you. <laughs> Welcome, welcome to the adventuring party. We are going on a shroom trip. We're raising, we're raising mushrooms today. Aren't you the mo- Okay, okay, let's- You'll, you'll be the dad then. You'll be the dad then. Mm-hmm. The decision being made, life continued. The weather is nice and you're feeling up to doing some foraging today. 
It may be easier if you focus on something specific before you head out. Uh, take your daughter foraging for river plants? <gasps> take your daughter foraging for mushrooms. Leave your daughter at home and go without her. Send your daughter out alone to gather ferns while you relax. Let's go get mushrooms together. As you search the forest floor, you teach your daughter about the different mushrooms. She asked if this is what she looked like as a baby, and you're unsure, <laughs> you're unsure how to respond. Cannibalism? No, we're not- we're not- No, we're just collecting them. We're just collecting them. We're not eating the mushrooms. We wouldn't. Uh, you're suppo you suppose you're glad to teach the girl about her heritage. Decision being made, life continued. My stamina is very low. You haven't been taking very good care of yourself, and you find yourself so worn out that even leaving the house is a challenge. If you continue on without regard for your own stamina, you might very well die. Okay. The witch is probably cultivating her as an ingredient for a cauldron and is happy at the pro- No, no, we're her family, don't. Don't say that. <laughs> Stay in bed today, you need the rest. You'll sleep when you're dead, which may be very well soon. <laughs> okay, what are, let's do the, the blatantly correct choice and sleep. <laughs> You'll be no use to your daughter in this day, so you decide to spend the day resting. Okay. Sitting in bed, you think about your daughter and all the tasks you've, you'll get done tomorrow. Decision being made, life continued. An end? One night, you find yourself struggling to sleep. Your mind wanders as you consider your current place in life. You've lived peacefully with your daughter for many moons. Initially, it was strange. Well, it never stopped being strange, but you were always thankful for the company. Besides the affection you felt for her was like any par parent would feel toward their child. That was normal, at least. Your thoughts turned to the concept of time, particularly how you were once alone, and how you were afraid that you will be again someday. Your daughter has had more and more curiosities about the outside world. It's only a matter of time before she wants to strike her own path. You hope you will be fulfilled now. You hope you've done enough. Ultimately, you find comfort in what you've done. You may have had many failures in your life, but there's one thing you know you can die proud of. Oh, a new beginning. But, hmm. <laughs> I teared up a little bit. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Telling the recluse that you wanted to see more of the world wasn't an easy conversation. As he grew older, you worried about- Oh, I am I the mushroom? I am the mushroom now. Mm -hmm. As he grew older, you worried about leaving them on their own. Thankfully, your concerns were unwarranted. They were happy that you had grown enough to want to move out. They even offered to help you build your own home, close to theirs. You were welcome to visit any time, obviously. Faster than you would have anticipated, the two of you built your home together. They showed you all the tricks they knew, and made sure to impart as much knowledge as they possibly could. Finally, the day arrived. You were officially on your own. You were scared, a little, but also excited. It felt like a new chapter was beginning for you. <gasps> new trait? A girl on her own. <gasps> Wait, what do I look like? <gasps> oh! Oh, why am I blanking on what this mushroom is? <laughs> Elegant furry blood turkey tail. Oh, there we go. <laughs> a tough flat mushroom found on trees. Visually striking, but on all. Oh. Uh, woody. You possess a woody toughness and are particularly durable for a mushroom. Animal friend. You have an endearing animal like appearance. Loving parent. The recluse will always live in your heart, and for the time being, next door. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, she's so cute. While on an expedition to a nearby swamp, you lose track of time. 
The sun has already set in the sky. The tree surrounding you seem more menacing now. Oh gosh, I'm, I... <laughs> uh, I need to catch up on chat. Sorry, sorry. Oh my god, you're the daughter now. I am! Oh, he's cry <laughs> I'm not. Cr I'm not crying. I teared up a little bit. Uh, oh, my, my cold heart warmed up for a second. Are they related to Whittier? I... I think so? <laughs> I don't remember. I honestly haven't studied mushrooms in a while. Omelette with omelette hair. Uh, as you contemplate your situation, you try to figure out the best thing to do. Wander through the woods, sleep in an abandoned building, follow a random road, look for help, keep cool, and calmly evaluate your situation. Uh, let's wander. Let's wander through the woods. You figure that you've lived in this area your whole life. You know that you can wander at night without incident, and if anything were to give you trouble, you're strong enough to defend yourself. I thought you were an expert. I'm not. <laughs> I am. I am an inf a hobbyist at best. I honestly. Um. <laughs> I still have like some trouble identifying mushrooms, so I'm. I mean. <laughs> I think the last time I went foraging for mushrooms, I poisoned myself. <laughs> Wondering, yeah, the forest is safe. There's nothing bad out here. You hear a distant howl. <laughs> you hear a distant howl and move yourself quickly. After a while of trying to figure out your way back, you finally spot a familiar path. You make it back without any further incident. See, it's safe, completely safe. Your bed feels the softest it has ever felt. Uh, curious, what mushroom would you grow, IRL? How do you grow mushrooms? I actually- I- I grew mushrooms for a while. I haven't- I haven't done it recently. But, um... Last time I grew, uh... Lion's Mane mushrooms, which are like... They're like big fluffy balls. I love- I love, uh, lion head. Go- Google a picture of them, they're very cute. <laughs> Your bed feels the softest it has ever been. Mm -hmm. As you go out to forage mushrooms one evening, you find a large batch of edible shrooms gathered near a stump. Unfortunately, on closer inspection, they are infested with countless small worms. It's added protein, right? Gather the shrooms anyway. Watch the wriggly little guys for a bit. Try to find a slightly less infested batch. Gather the worms. We could use the worms. We might... Maybe if we go fishing. Worms could be useful. You try to think of ways to use the worms, and a couple do come to mind. You start trying to gather worms into a sack. You find touching the worms to be rather gross. Something about them is just so disconcertingly slimy. You don't like it. <laughs> Despite your best efforts to keep going, you lose motivation quickly. Mm-hmm-hmm. -hmm. Are they tasty? They are. They are very good. If you pan, I'm gonna nerd about nerd out about mushrooms. <laughs> if you um, they taste very good, like pan fried. Um, if you like slice them up into slices, they're very very good. <clears throat> Next time you'll stick to normal mushrooms, you suppose. Uh, you feel a crisp breeze. The heat is relenting. Trees are changing in color. Fall has arrived. <gasps> it's mushroom season. If, if you want to get into growing your own mushrooms, there are actually like different kits that you can get online. Um, the easiest ones to grow are oyster mushrooms. And they come in like a lot of different colors. Like there's oh my, there's pink oyster mushrooms, which are really cute. And, and, <laughs> and, and they are very, very good. I, I love growing mushrooms. Oh my god, so fluffy in here. They are! They're so cute! They're like little puffballs. I love, I love... Mushrooms. <laughs> mushrooms are good. Uh, the night sky is clear and beautiful as you sit on a stump atop a small hill looking up. Something catches your eye, and you notice a streak of a shooting star. <gasps> Make a wish! Wish for it to rain tomorrow. Wish to stay in good health. Wish to grow stronger. 
Wish to be blessed with delicious food. Wish for the people of the kingdom to live peaceful lives. Wish for the star itself. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think, let's wish for the star, I'm curious. How does one grow mushrooms? It's very easy, especially for oyster mushrooms. Uh, usually for kits, they'll have, um, <laughs> they'll have a, uh, brick of, uh, it's called substrate, and they'll, it's like basically, uh, a block of, like, wood or dirt that's been, uh, infected with mushroom spores already. And, and, if you, uh, just keep it uh, in a humid place and keep it nice and moist, then, like, mushrooms will start to grow. Mm -hmm. Oh, and oyster mushrooms grow super fast, too, so you can, like, you can see them grow, like, each and every day. It's so cool. Yeah, we had an oyster mushroom kit for a while, and it was fun. <gasps> oh, I, I love growing mushrooms. I love growing mushrooms so much. I really, I, I need to start doing it again. You eagerly wait to see if your outrageous wish was granted. As the tail of the string star fades away, you suddenly feel something land on your head. <gasps> Is it the star? No, bird, <laughs> bird poop. Maybe you'll have better luck next time. Oh. While tending to your home, you begin to feel an otherworldly pull towards the forest. You can't resist, and moments later you find yourself surrounded by trees and standing in front of a mushroom-covered hut. Deep within, you know that the witch that made you resides here. <gasps> Enter the hut and greet the witch as her daughter. Enter the hut cautiously and cheat her as a stranger. Enter the hut with the hope of learning some magic. Force yourself to be to turn tail around and quickly head home. Yeah, yeah. The witch the witch is mm hmm You enter and find the witch sitting at a large flat mushroom, looking over a large tome. Greeting her warmly, she looks up and welcomes you into her home. She asks about your life, and you tell her the things you've been through. It's like you've always known each other. She treats you kindly. Before you go, the two of you hug, and she chats in some old language, blessing you. Hi, Lila. Welcome. Mushrooms, how is everyone doing today? <laughs> I am doing good. I am doing very good. How are you doing, Lila? A chilling breeze greets you one morning, heralding the approach of winter. The end of the year approaches, and you find yourself con considering your aspirations. You want to accomplish something significant, you decide. Something you'll remember. Hmm. Attend a romantic evening at a gala. Pursue a great aspiration. Decide not to pursue anything. I feel like with her personality, she seems like the more adventurous type. In your travels, you have been told of some particularly challenging quests, a possible tests of your merit, but the potential opportunities for glory you've heard, you decide to slay a terrible beast. Actually, don't do a quest. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about sending my daughter off to fight a monster. Hmm. Okay, let's do it. You have heard rumors of a monstrous animal terrorizing a nearby community. Perhaps you may win some renown if you step up to hunt a beast. Preparations will take some time, but you decide to take on the creature before the end of the year. The mound that you frequently see on your days out call to you. The overwhelming desire to climb them can't be ignored. Vegetarian beast. <laughs> Dungeon raid, mm-hmm. Pack light, pack heavy. <gasps> yes, pack light. You carefully choose each item based on its weight, size, and usefulness. Sylvan has a soft voice sometimes. Thank you. I appreciate that. Your pack sits comfortably on your shoulders and allows for your full range of movement. With your, with your pack packed, you make your way out to the mountain. After a couple of hours, you feel like you've made some decent progress, but you're starting to get a bit tired. Just as you think it's time for a break, you come across a beautiful mountain spring, complete with its own waterfall. <gasps> Take a relaxing shower. <sighs> Let's do that. Let's do that.
The, water's, the waterfall's frigid embrace leaves your skin numb and joints stiff. You take a moment to rest in the sun to warm yourself, but end up falling asleep. At least you're not sweating anymore. You wake up in the mountain forest that night. Hmm. And so says it's free ASMR. <laughs> Thank you. The dark can't stop you. Continue climbing. Spend the night. Yeah, we can climb in the dark. It should be fine. The moon is full and you sigh that you feel fully rested after your little nap. In the moonlight, you carefully make your way up the path. The faint glow of the moon grants everything a pallid shine. Until you realize something. Some of the light is not coming from the sky. Glancing at the base of a tree, you spot small plants glowing happily in the night. Enjoy the light for a moment. Eat what? <laughs> mm. Yeah. Let's eat one. Being cautious may help with longevity, but it can never help with curiosity. That's a very good way to put it. Before you can overthink it, you pull a fern tip and toss it down the hatch. Thankfully, the plant seems mild and fleer. It could be poisonous, you suppose, but that was a problem for tomorrow. For tomorrow, you... <laughs> Is what you would have thought had you not immediately pouched <laughs> passed out upon ingestion. You wake up in the morning feeling different. When you look at your hands, you notice something about you has shifted. You suspect you won't ever have to wander in the dark again. Or more specifically, the logistics of that will now be more complex. You finally make your way home, wondering if your new luminescence will be permanent. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. You have become a very reliable nightlight. <laughs> oh, I actually I have I have my own mushroom nightlight already. You have made a realization, perhaps the witch could bear another title. Mm -hmm. That's very cute. Oh, I never looked at these other stats, huh? Dampness increased by a good soak or by a melancholic moment. This stat indicates how wet and slimy <laughs> her body is, but also a murkiness of the soul. Increased by the right nutrients, or by things that nourish the soul. This stat is associated with how generally healthy she is, and yet it could also be a persistent optimism. Oh, that's, that one's mixed out. I'm happy about that. Robustness. Increased by the right nutrients, or by things that nourish the soul. Wait, did I say that one already? What? Ah, increased by ideal growing conditions, or by loving presence. This stat is associated with her physical strength, but could also be a strength of character. Uh, potency. Increased by titillating meal or titillating danger. This stat is tied to the strength of her mushroom type or her ability to perform in stressful situations. Uh, humanity. Increased by thorough socialization or by, by doing the right thing. This stat is how good of a person she is, literally and metaphorically. Mm -hmm. Nice. While out on a walk around the outskirts of the village, you stumble upon a small lake that you know. The villagers frequent as a place to relax. You notice a group of young villagers swimming not far from the shore, while a woman fishes from a small dock a ways away. How should you spend your time here? I should- I wish I did keep those worms. Said dock, you're more curious how fishing works. You can swim, join the young villagers for a swim. Let's, let's join the villagers for a swim. The group happily lets you join in, and you mesh well with them. It seems you've quickly become the center of attention. You end up spending more time answering their questions about yourself than swimming. <gasps> Once the sun starts to set, you say your goodbyes and head home. You were able to have a nice time, and make some new friends along the way. <laughs> sort of reputable. Today, in the dead of winter, all things in the forest lie still. Even so, you are on a hunt. You have heard rumors of a terrible beast that hunts these woods throughout the winter. When all else is quiet, it turns its appetite to the nearby villagers. So you have taken it upon yourself to hunt the beast, perhaps winning renown among those who spend the winter months in fear. Approaching the section of the forest, the creature had been sighted 
and most recently, you carefully consider your options. The music gives me Klonoa vibes. Mm -hmm. I love the music so much. Search for the signs of the beast. Call out, making your presence known. That seems like a bad idea. <laughs> uh, search for signs of the beast. You carefully search the area, making sure not to disturb your surroundings or attract attention. Sparse animal tracks, broken twigs. Ah, but here, a set of deep tracks wind their way through. Wait, right the blah 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 blah. <laughs> a set of deep tracks wind their way around the clearing. Fresh. The snow is too loose to determine what made them, but a huge animal is definitely on the prowl. The mycelium on the back of your neck stands up, registering the sound of a low growl before you even notice it. The, be the beast is here, now. The beast approaches you brazenly, a haggard wolf, eyes burning with ravenous hunger. Standing near nearly as tall as you, its iron blues show prominent under its lithe frame and aging gray pelt. I can read. <laughs> Its tremendously proportioned head and glinting white teeth tell you just how effective at killing this creature would be. Any bloodstained maw gives you no doubt. This is the monster the villagers speak of. A terrible man-eating beast. But does he eat mushrooms, though? You tighten your grip on your trusty knife, stealing your nerves. Hesitation here may spell death. Wait for the wolf to act first. Charge the beast. Oh my god. I only have two options. Okay, okay. Let me look at my stats. Let me look at my stats. Robustness is... Is my strength, isn't it? Those are average scores. Uh... Quincy is... Abilities... Hmm. I don't know what stats would affect what choice. Okay, let's go stab that wolf. I think oh, I don't want to I don't want to get my mushroom daughter killed. <laughs> two. Maybe, I think we'll try two. Wait, what does info do? Oh, I can see my stats from here. I have a feeling potency would affect uh, the counterattack and robustness probably affects the charge. They're both average, so I, I'm not sure if it matters. They who strikes first wins. Okay, okay. Oh, please don't die. You rush forward brazenly with your knife in your hand, but the ma massive wolf outmaneuvers you, agilely circling around to lash out at your side. The wolf bites at your arm, the massive teeth leaving a gash as you pull away desperately. Twisting away from the wolf, you catch a glimpse of something in the trees. A second, darker colored wolf- <laughs> jeez! A second, darker colored wolf joining the hunt. The two massive wolves circle the clearing, having cornered their prey. Push one into the bushes. <laughs> Attempt to slay them both. Cut your losses and abscond. Okay, okay, okay. We can- we'll be fine. We can get- we can make our way out of this. <sighs> I'm honestly so nervous. Uh, mm, <laughs> I'm not sure if pushing one to the bushes will do anything. Attempting to slay them both sounds really dangerous. Cutting my losses and... Retreating sounds like the safest option. <laughs> mm. We've come this far. The village, the village won't be safe until both wolves are dead. You can't allow either one of the the chance to escape. Did you lose stats from the bite? I I don't think so. I think my stats are the same still. The village won't be safe until both wolves are dead. You can't allow either one the chance to escape. You watch their movements with the calmness of an expert hunter, examining their formation and surroundings, observing their behavior until- There! You're opening. 
Leaping into a sudden dash, he charged at the latecomer, the more wary of the two beasts. The animal falters away from the brazen charge, just as expected. You faint, slashing at the opportunistic first wolf, now attempting to flank you. The blade cuts deep, but you give the beast little regard as you continue the rush, cutting off the creature's escape. You finally- oh yeah. You pant in ragged gasps, the adrenaline of the hunt finally subsiding. The snowy clearing is now dyed crimson, and the beasts lie dead before you. Not possessing the proper skills or equipment to skin them for pelts, you decide to claim their tails as trophies. The villagers, you are sure, will be elated to see them. But for now, you rest. The cold winter evening soothes your wounds. Now free from the horror of manning beasts, the silent forest glows with serene beauty. <gasps> Eventually, the day grows late. You decide it's time you head back with good news. As you grow older, you look back over your life. You think back to the witch who created you, and, ca and can't help but wonder if you everything met her expectations. You wonder if you were the daughter your parent had hoped for. <laughs> fachi, 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 thank you, thank you. <laughs> the end. We did it. <laughs> <clears throat> that was a that was that was a good story. <laughs> we saved the village. We saved the village. Ah. Oh. <gasps> oh, I see. Mushroompedia turkey tail. Right. A tough flat mushroom found on trees, visually striking but unremarkable. Mm -hmm. I did another practice run and I unlocked another mushroom. Tough. I keep mushroom covered in tough. Yeah. I keep mushroom covered in tough so soft spikes. Very fluffy. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's actually. I want to do another run. I want to see what other mushrooms we can unlock. Save the village via murder. They were eating villagers. They were eating villagers. You win. You didn't kill your child. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a good parent. <laughs> Let's do one more. I think this time, I will let you guys choose. Uh, I'll let you guys vote on the choices I pick to see if we can get a different mushroom. Okay. Let's start from the beginning, one more time. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a humble recluse. They had no need for society. However, they did often find themselves with an unshakable loneliness. One day, while foraging, a wandering witch overheard the recluse's inner desires. The witch approached them with an offer. Do for me three simple things. When they are done, I will present you with your deepest desire, a child. The recluse, caught in a moment of naivety, quickly agreed. If it is a child you are looking for, here is the first thing you will do. Bring me an heirloom, something that your child will forever value. Okay, here is our first choice, you guys. The recluse thought on it briefly, searching through their home for the object they had pictured. Okay, a dark and weathered tome, an old bottle of medicine that has sat unopened. My most used cast iron skillet. I think some of the choices are different, actually. What do you guys think? What do you guys think we should pass on to our child? Mm hmm hmm. Ah, uh, shoot. What? Number two? The medicine bottle? Okay. Anyone else? Any other votes? Any other votes? I don't think this one was here last time. I think it was a different choice. I remember Skelet and Tome, I think. That medicine bottle is done. <gasps> this old tincture was no longer needed and has been sealed for decades. It makes a nice antique at least. Bring their prize back to the witch. She simply gave a sweet smile. How perfect. 
after their brief detour to meet with the witch. The recluse resumed their normal day-to-day -day schedule. Second day. You completed your first task admirably. Two more and I can finally give you what you want. Go somewhere. Perhaps somewhere important, perhaps not. Bring back the jar of the soil you find there for enrichment. I think this was different too, I don't think we had this choice last time. Left with the vague prompt, the recluse consider their options. Your favorite foraging neck? The witch's, <laughs> the witch's own front yard. A barren forest long since struck by some invisible ailment. Ah, I see, I see. I wonder how I wonder how much it changes each time. Hmm hmm hmm. What is your choice, you guys? What is your vote? Baron Forest? Which is front yard? <laughs> Foraging nook. I wonder if she'll be mad if we if we take dirt from her yard. Number one? Okay. Any other votes? we will let's go with the foraging nook then two two okay we have a vote for one and two we need we need a tiebreaker <laughs> if we don't if we don't get someone uh to tie i'll i'll vote lila be tiebreaker please <laughs> In five, four, oh, okay, we'll do number one then. Uh, when in need, this ball had never let the recluse down. They scooped the dirt dutifully, knowing this was one of the easier resources to gather. Arriving back at their meeting place, the recluse was excited to report their progress to the witch. So that's what you've decided, huh? Very well, it shall do. Feeling the need to scrub their skin, the recluse retired to their hut to cleanse himself. Day three. With two assignments complete, the recluse could feel their excitement grow. With one last chore, I will be done with you. Listen well. Petals are a powerful thing. They make their intentions known without a single word. Go forth and return with a flower that most speaks to you. Starfrost, a muted great thistle. Bleeding hearts, sanguine and symbolic drops. Cardinal flowers, a prideful red bloom. Foxglove. Purple bell-like blooms. Sorry, YouTube delay. <laughs> it's no problem. I think if you want to beat um, the delay on YouTube, I learned this trick. If you uh, set set the stream to go into uh, double time, then it should take you to like the most. It should like take you to the most present moment. I think. Number three. Which one was number three? One, two, three. Cardinal flowers. Mm -hmm. I wonder what this actually affects. I wonder what... Mm -hmm. Carnival flowers, bleeding hearts, thistles, foxglove. Let's go, let's let go with the cardinals. Somehow, they were the loudest flower you have ever seen. They remind you of fine, vivid things, expensive dyes, and lavish clothes. You can never afford these things in society, but this flower was free. Your daughter would never go without. You return to the witch's location with your bloom in hand. This looks really neat. I think I'll try this myself sometime. It's very fun and it's it's a very cute story. I think actually uh, the, dev the devs actually um, updated it recently with a big update. So yeah, I think it'd be really fun. Uh, if you want, if you, if anyone wants to play this game, the link to the itch.io page is in the description. Oh no, she's gonna become a selfish show Joseph. <laughs> she silently took the flower, nodding her head to you in recognition and gesturing that you were free to go. The fourth day. 
The recluse knew the fade hour had arrived, the time to reap the rewards of their efforts. However, they should have known that everything is for a cost. She is yours, recluse, on one final condition. Promise me one of these things, and we will be in agreement. Pay me now with wealth. Pay me now with life. Pay me sometime soon in larger quantities. Pay me at a much later date in the way that I choose. This one seems like the most- I kind of want to see where this one leads. We're continuing the update all the time? Are you really? That's so good. I, I'm really enjoying this game. <laughs> so I, uh, I'd love to play it again after you update it more. Three or four sounds best? Okay. I have to count again. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Pay at a later date in the way they choose. This one seems fun. <laughs> I'm interested to see what the payment will be. <laughs> Gotta pay to play the ojo -san laugh. Nothing bad about a little debt. <laughs> I'm sure it'll, it'll be fine. The recluse told the witch they couldn't be here not anytime soon. That's fine, of course. I will collect payment eventually. <laughs> That's not ominous. That's fine. With the matter of payment settled, she simply smiled and handed the recluse a small pot. Perhaps it does not yet look like much. Time. Give it lots of time and your wish will soon come true. I suppose, though, that there is one last thing. A name. You must give your daughter a name. The recluse thought on the witches as the man before offering the final thing they had to give. What is her name, you guys? <laughs> I think I prom I promised you guys uh, I'd let you guys name them. So what should we name? What should we name our mushroom daughter? Syrup? <laughs> okay, that's one. That's one name. That's one name. Any others? Any others? Let's hear some more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Syrup is actually very cute. Waffle? <laughs> Why? How come? How, co how come? How come? <laughs> how come you're making fun of me for naming her omelet? I feel like omelet's a cuter name than waffle. Wouldn't it be bad to suggest raccoon? <laughs> raccoon? Raccoon could be a cute name. Raccoon could be a cute name. So we have syrup, waffle, raccoon. I feel like omelette's cute too. Omelette's a cute name. It's French. It's a French name. It's very fancy. Hmm. Okay. Hold on. I'll, uh, do I have? I'll do, I'll do something elegant like Ophelia. I'll do, a, I'll do a random number. I'll do a random number generator. And whichever one it is, <laughs> that'll be the name. Okay, we have, <laughs> we have Syrup as one, Waffle as two, Raccoon as three. Uh, Ophelia is for <laughs> breakfast burrito. <laughs> breakfast burrito is fine. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I, I like breakfast burrito. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll, um, and I think last one. Schlumple. <laughs> Shumple, shlump, 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 shlumple as number six. I'll, I'll do a random number. Hold on. Uh, four. <laughs> Which one was four? Was four raccoon? Syrup one, waffle two, raccoon three. Ophelia four. Okay, Ophelia. Eggs Benny. Well, no, we can't keep naming them breakfast foods. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> I can't believe, I can't believe the number generator picked, like, the only normal name. <laughs> Chatter, stop. Why are you guys so hungry? Somehow did not pick a breakfast food. The girl is lucky. <laughs> Then she walked away, only fate knowing if the two should ever meet again. Chapter 2, Cultivation Though the recluse was unsure of the specifics, they did realize that it was important to heed her instructions, care for the pot and the dirt and everything that lay within. So the recluse geared up, as any parent should, and assessed the things they needed to raise a child. Finances in case a nearby village had goods or services that, could not, that you could not provide. Nutrients for the child to help it grow strong. They would need plenty, as it would be depleted on a daily basis. You started it by naming your firstborn Omelette. Omelette is a cute name. I'm not gonna- I'm not backing down on that. <laughs> I skip meals every day, of course. I'm like, you shouldn't do that, Lila. <laughs> uh, and finally, the recluse's own stamina could not be ignored. One cannot burn the candle from both ends indefinitely. We are what you make. I didn't make you guys into that. Don't blame me. Thus began the longest growing season of the recluse's life. A flock of hungry birds have been harassing your crops and daughter recently. They've become quite the nuisance. Okay, hunt the birds. Poison the birds. Ignore the birds. What is our, what is everyone's votes? One, two, or three? I'm honestly against like killing things. <laughs> okay, we got a vote for one. <laughs> we could we could use the birds for food. I guess that is a good point. <laughs> okay, looks like we're all in agreement then. You retrieved your bow, and were lucky to leave with not one, but two birds from the flock. They shouldn't show up for a while, and you and your daughter may rest. Nothing more can be done for the, to the birds. The matter was laid to rest. Sylvan is against killing what we're hungry. <laughs> I'm not the only parent anymore, I've been outvoted. The sun is starting to sink in the sky, but you haven't finished your daily errands. You only have time for one more. Barter for some fine substrates to better grow your daughter. Purchase new construction materials for your hut. You've already worked hard enough. Retire to the tavern. Finish the favor the village's leader asked of you. Sorry, Sylvan, your pacifism has been overruled. <laughs> Why does your daughter look diseased? What do you mean? She's... My daughter looks beautiful. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, what? Dara is more important than everyone else. Bar for fine substrates? Okay. An amateur mycologist in the village recently informed you that he had had some new supplies that may be in. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> I get so tongue tied, I'm sorry. An amateur mycologist in the village recently informed you that he had some new supplies that may interest you. You decide to take him up on the offer. After meeting with him, you come to the conclusion that he was right. You take home a fine new pouch of soil, and he takes some of your hard-earned coin. Your task behind you, you and your daughter return home. Each do a nice bath and a simple dinner. She looks different from last time. still cute. One day you find your daughter has left her pot and now hops around your home with determination. The creature jumps about with ease with clear intent, now visible in her face. Her demeanor seems active and brazen, often finding yourself engaged in troublesome play. Mm -hmm. Encourage your boldness, spend time nurturing her environment, motivate her to do something safer. <laughs> we need to make her healthy. She's super healthy now. Determination. Mm -hmm. Two. Oh, Shaisa. 
I don't know why that scares me. <laughs> Spend time nurturing her environment? Mm-hmm. She looks a lot different now, huh? Our first child had, like, arms and legs. Super healthy and bold? Nice, nice. You decide that now is the best time to promote her growth. Spending extra effort improving her living conditions. Midar seems to appreciate the attention and emotes cheerfully. The decision being made, life continued. Miss Creens broke into your home while you were out and made off with a priceless heirloom. After some searching, you find your daughter cowering under your bed. Chase down the thieves together? Scold, scold the girl for her cowardice? Comfort her, she's clearly had a rough time. Invest in security measures to ensure this doesn't happen again. Okay. So that's... Chase down, one. Scold, scold, the, scold the daughter. Comfort her. Or get better security. <laughs> Kill them. I don't know if that's an option. <laughs> okay, that's... Hmm, one, two, three... Hmm... Well, we want to encourage her to be more bold. So maybe chasing down the thieves would be a better option. Chase him? Anything but two? Yeah, I don't think I would pick number two. Okay, it looks like chasing down the thieves is the best one. Uh, the chairman, you grab your daughter and run to chase them after the thieves. After an inexperienced, as an inexperienced tracker, you quickly lose their trail. Your daughter seems invigorated by the excitement, however. The decision being made, life continued. One evening, you hear a light knocking at your door. Quite a rare occurrence. Peeking through the window, you witness none other than the witch of the woods standing on the doorway of your humble hut. Destroy enemies, grind them to dirt, make them wish they were never born. <laughs> Maybe we'll run into the thieves later on. Could she be here for a visit or to settle a debt? Introduce her to your daughter. Privately request a stipend. Mm hmm. Well, we already owe her. I don't know if it'd be a good idea to ask for more money. <laughs> Is she collecting the debt? No, not yet. Not yet. Thankfully. Hmm. One, don't piss her off. Yeah. Perhaps it was time for your daughter to meet the witch. She could maybe even learn a thing or two. The two of you answer the door and invite the gloomy woman inside for dry and awkward small talk. Something about the way the two absently stare at each other. You wonder if they've made some sort of connection today. Mystic bond. Decision being made, life continued. One day, you awake slightly earlier than you typically do. In your somewhat somnambulant state, you hear an ethereal singing that seems to originate from your garden. It's the fairy again. She's in charge of interest just yet. See on her good side. <laughs> when you go out, you spot it. A small fairy clad in red is sitting amongst your crops. Offer a coin to the fairy to gain their favor. Catch the fairy to sell in town. Hunt the fairy to use as food for your daughter. Build a small fairy garden in your daughter's room using supplies. I don't want to kill the fairy again. <laughs> the description, the description of you like killing and eating the fairy was very, very sad. <laughs> I don't. How much coins do we have? We have four. We are low on stamina though. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Build a small fairy garden in your daughter's room from using supplies. I think that one would be fun. What do you all- what does everyone else say? Four? 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 Okay. Without delay, you quickly gather your supplies. Greenery, some common foods. Heck, throw in a drop of blood. They love that sort of thing. 
After consulting some books to ensure that it's an appropriate space, you lure the fairy in with treats. Though they seem unsure at first, the fairy eventually seems to accept your offer of a home. You feel a sense of relief. The girl had been asking you for a pet. Finally, you have something for her. <gasps> Decision being made, life continues. Hello. Oh, <laughs> she's cute. <laughs> Very familiar. You have a, a small magical friend that has a tendency to follow you. I wish we could. <laughs> I wish when you mouse over her, the mouse turns into like a little hand so we could give her head pats. She's so cute. <gasps> One morning, you notice that your daughter is nowhere to be seen. After an hour of searching the nearby area, you find her standing perfectly still in a dense stand of trees. To your surprise, the creature had now taken the form of a young girl. You feel relieved to confirm that the witch hadn't betrayed you. At your approach, she turns and acknowledges you shut silently before continuing to carefully watch her surroundings. Watch her quietly. Buy her a nice gift to celebrate. Tell her it's time to go home. Let's buy her a nice gift. That's my vote. I vote for number two. Any other votes? <laughs> Watch her quietly, buy a gift, and go home. <gasps> oh, excellent quality environment. Nice. She went from bold to emo. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just going through a phase. Another vote for two? Anyone else? Anyone else? <laughs> One? Hmm. Okay. One last vote. Lila, Lila, do you fear Tiger Breaker vote? Gotta remember the debt. Oh, you're right, you're right. Mm -hmm. The witch will probably come back to have us pay the debt before she's all grown up, huh? You have to make sure we have money. She took like seven coins last time, though. One? Okay. You do wonder why your daughter has such a silent intensity, but decide not to disturb her. Taking a seat near her, you appreciate the beauty of the forest and spend time thinking lovingly of your daughter. Nice. After several uneasy minutes, she simply turns and walks in the direction of home, seem seemingly finished with her quiet watching. Decision being made, life continued. The weather is nice and you're feeling up to doing some foraging today. It may be easier if you focus on something specific before you head out. Ah, foraging for river plants. Foraging for mushrooms. Leave your daughter at home. Uh, send your daughter out alone to gather ferns while you relax. We are low on stamina. And I, I'm pretty sure foraging is going to lower our stamina a bit. So it might not be a bad idea to rest today. I also don't want our daughter going off alone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Decisions, decisions. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Four? Four? She's old enough and needs to learn some responsibility. You're right, you're right. You inform your daughter that today she will be venturing further into the forest alone than she normally does. At first she seems a little scared, but eventually her desire to please you beats out the fear. She comes home tired. She comes home tired out and haggard, but she did manage to find some ferns. Plus, she's stronger for facing her fears, too. 
Decision being made, life continued. Forging for mushrooms as mushrooms seems like cannibalism. It's not, it's not. You awaken only to discover that your daughter is covered in tiny parasitic creatures. For the sake of her health, you should probably find a way to get rid of the little pests. Give the child a thorough rinse. Buy some fine herbal pesticides. You're all organic. Leave them be. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Oops, accidental trauma. She's fine. She's fine. She needs to learn how to do things on her own. I'm sure a bath would be fine. Uh, we haven't had a lot of opportunities to make money, so I'm kind of worried about what's going to happen if we don't have money to pay back the witch. Uh, two? Two? Okay, we'll do two. Ah. Dreading the potential spread of such a plague, you decide to seek some strong elixirs from the local alchemist. When you apply the potion, it seems to be instantly absorbed into her skin. It lends her a healthy shimmer and exterminates the bugs. The shizz- blah blah blah. The shizz- blah blah. I need a drink, hold on. <clears throat> the decision being made, life continued. <clears throat> You've been irresponsible with your funds. One more necessary expense and you won't have enough food to survive. Uh oh. You love to interact with others, but you may have to find some work in town. Ah, okay, okay. Suck it up and get to work. You'd rather die poor than get a job. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna make this decision because I'm pretty sure uh, we have to work. You swallow your pride and head to the village to do manual labor. It's demeaning work, but the fruits of your labor will ensure that you and your daughter will survive another day. Decision being made, life continued. <gasps> and end? One night, you find yourself struggling to sleep. Your mind wanders as you consider your current place in life. You lived peacefully with your daughter for many moons. Initially, it was strange. Well, it never stopped being strange, but you were always thankful for the company. Besides, the affection you felt for her was like any parent would feel toward their child. That was normal, at least. Your thoughts turned to the concept of time, particularly how you were alone, how you were once alone, and how you are afraid that you will be again someday. Your daughter has had more and more curiosities about the outside world. It's only a matter of time before you want, before she wants to strike out on her own path. You hope you will be fulfilled now. You hope you've done enough. Ultimately, you find comfort in what you've done. You may have had many failures in your life, but there's one thing you know you can die proud of. I made it through, I made it through, but at, like at the very end, it, <clears throat> I got choked up a little bit. <clears throat> oh no, she's growing up. She is, she is. Let's, let's see her final form. Telling the recluse that you wanted to see more of the world wasn't an easy conversation. As they grew older, you worried about leaving them on their own. Thankfully, your concerns were unwarranted. They were happy that you had grown enough to want to move out. They even offered to help you build your own home, close to theirs. You were welcome to visit any time, obviously. Faster than you have anticipated, the two of you built your home together. They showed you all the tricks they knew, and made sure to impart as much knowledge as they possibly could. Finally, the day arrived. You were officially on your own. You were scared, a little, but also excited. It felt like a new chapter was just beginning for you. Chapter 3, Girl on Her Own. <gasps> Wait, shoot, I missed that. Your eyes felt heavy and suddenly found yourself falling. Wait, what? In your dreams, you're sitting on a tree branch. There's a I missed, I missed the first few lines. <laughs> then suddenly the flute is next to you. Attached, it is... Wait, attached to... It is vaguely a woman. I haven't seen you around here before. Welcome. Whenever you go to look at her, it feels like she shifts. You can't quite describe her. You probably won't remember me when you wake up, but it's nice to meet you. After sitting in silence for a second, she starts playing again. 
Is this a dream? I think this is a dream. Sing along. Where do you go when I'm awake? I'm trying to memorize this place. Why? That's a very... Mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of very, very different options. Sing along. Where do you go when I'm awake? I'm trying to memorize this place. Fly. <laughs> mm hmm. One. Okay. You close your eyes, absently singing along with the flute. Your voice sounds beautiful. Things could not be more perfect. Eventually, before you know it, your eyes are opening. It's dark out. You should be getting home. Okay, hold on. I want to see my, our full portrait. Oh, shoot. There was too many votes. I should have waited. <gasps> Wait, she's so cute. Red funeral bell. A particularly deadly mushroom with a rather unremarkable appearance. Why do they all say unremarkable? She looks really cute. Oh, gosh. I wonder, I wonder if there's a mushroom daughter based on lines and mushrooms. <laughs> Cries often. You find it difficult to contain yourself. Visceral. Something within you is innately compelled to <laughs> Something within you is innately compelled to kill. You are unsure why, but you find yourself improving. <laughs> What kind of daughter did we raise? <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> we raised a serial killer. <laughs> While wandering in the woods near your home, you suddenly hear something rustling in the foliage ahead of you. Wow, she has your personality checked. <laughs> I don't I don't kill people that you know of. I don't. <clears throat> <clears throat> Before you can react, a large boar bursts from the brush and locks eyes with you. You're <laughs> raised an emo daughter. <laughs> mm -hmm. You sense an intense flaming aura of determination emanate off this wild hog. It's just a pig, right? Face it. Head on. Run for your life. If it's a snack he wants. Should we, <laughs> should we try to kill as many things as possible this run? You cry, cry a lot, but also choose violence a lot. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a pacifist. Violence? I think violence is a good option here. You stiffen your stance and ready yourself as the pig charges. The large swine hits you in the stomach, but that was just what you wanted. Grabbing either side of the pig, you use all your strength to lift it off the ground. <laughs> Grabbing either side of the pig, you use all your strength to lift it off the ground, twisting back into a perfect suplex. <laughs> what kind of what kind of daughter did we raise? Squealing as it struggles to its feet, the beast flees. Defeated, and you head home feeling tougher than before. We just suplexed a pig. <laughs> It reminds me, if you guys have ever seen the anime, uh, Nichiju, that, um, the scene where the principal suplexes the deer. <laughs> That's what I'm imagining in my head. Uh, you feel a crisp breeze. The heat is relenting. Trees are changing in color. Paul has arrived. She has some of my personality, too. <laughs> she does. Daughter is badass. Genocide <laughs> run. Mm hmm. Fall has arrived. Just as you're about to return home, an unfamiliar type of tree catches your eye. Plump pink orange fruits dangle from a large mass of branches. Upon inspection, you also find plenty scattered around the base of the trunk as well. Eat a fruit off the ground at random. <laughs> Climb the tree for the, the perfect fruit. Take a nap under the big tree. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like we can kill anything here. 
What do you guys think? Ophelia is Sylvan and Rena's secret love child. <laughs> She d I guess she does have, like, our traits, huh? Mm -hmm -hmm. Number two? Only accept the best? Mm -hmm. It probably will make her tougher, too. Finding some decent footholds, you hoist yourself up into the branches. After clambering around for a bit, you spot the shiniest, fattest fruit you've ever seen. Keeping a tight grip on your position, you reach out and grab the fruit. Victory is in your grasp. After admiring the view, you climb down. Now, it's time to savor your prize. You enjoy it on your walk home, admiring the subtle sweetness. As you go out to forage mushrooms one evening, you find a large batch of edible shrooms scattered near a stump. Unfortunately, on closer inspection, they are infested with countless small worms. Uh, it's added protein. I think- I wonder if this time we'll be able to actually gather the worms. Because last time, uh, Omelette was too scared to pick up the worms. But she seems more bold. I wonder- because I want to see if we can use these worms to go fishing, maybe. It's not cannibalism! It's not cannibalism. It's not cannibalism. Watch the wriggly little guys for a bit. Try to find a slightly less infested batch. Gather the worms, maybe you'll need them. Eat the worms? <laughs> okay, okay. If, if I get one more vote for eat the worms, then I'll, I'll select it. She probably would, to be honest. <laughs> she seems the type. Any other votes? Any other votes? <laughs> And five, four, three, two. Slip the worms. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, shoot, I skipped it again. Ah. You go home with a big batch of mushrooms, worm and all. That night, you use them to prepare dinner, and it turns out great, but a tasty, hearty meal. <laughs> Secretly, you begin harboring a theory that the worms were actually actually your special ingredient. <laughs> okay, we're raising a mushroom daughter that eats worms, cries a lot, and kills people. I think you're doing a very good job. Over the past few days, you've developed a growing sense of unease. And one particularly gloomy evening, the feeling intensifies. You are in the dying days of autumn. A chill in the air bites at your skin. Eats worms and suplexes pigs. <laughs> Suplexing the pig was pretty cool. As you look out into the nearby woods, you can feel a strange calling. An invisible force pulling you towards something. It seems you are being summoned. Okay. I think this might be the witch calling us. Before you decide if it's a good idea to follow, your body has already made the choice for you. You find yourself uncontrollably walking into the woods. Sometime later, you find yourself in a dark, unfamiliar grove. You are relieved to see your summoner, none other than the Witch of the Woods. However, your relief is short-lived when you see the cold and serious look on her face as you approach. Okay, this is different from last time. My daughter, the time has come. Though it was not yours, there is still a debt left unsettled, and I always find a way to collect payment. It seems she really does intend to make you pay for your parents' debt. After such a long time, you can't imagine what she would require of you. It certainly won't be easy. Mm hmm. Ask her for a reprieve, it's not your debt after all. Take care of a dangerous and unsavory matter. Fight the witch! <laughs> I know, I, I... <laughs> she, she definitely seems the type to fight the witch. <laughs> I don't know how... That seems kind of dangerous, though. Should we, should we fight? Should we fight Reina? Should we fight Reina? <sighs> the 
this this option also seems pretty dangerous to be honest. Four. One, two, three. Uh, fight the witch. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll fight the witch. Hmm. <clears throat> In an act of desperation, you muster a surprising burst of strength, lunging out at the witch despite her spell. Caught off guard, and perhaps now unsure of the danger you might pose, she backs away. Know that opposing me means your death, she says, coldly from her form, dissipating into the fog. You will become mine again when your body returns to the earth. That's so ominous. Oh, the devs said too? Oh no. It's to like you guys made your choice. You guys made your choice and now you have to live with it. <laughs> She's gone. But you can't help but wonder if you've already sealed your fate. <laughs> We're not in debt anymore though. So it kind of worked. While sitting outside near your garden and taking in the fresh air, you hear the call of a crow. Then another. And another. The birds are back! You look up to find a rather large group of sleek blackbirds perched in the trees above you. A few are, are eyeing your garden, while others are just birding around, as birds are wont to do. Mm -hmm. Feed the crows some spare craps. <laughs> spare scraps. Feed the crows some spare scraps. Scare them off. Just watch them for a bit. <laughs> We just need to suplex her in the afterlife. Mm -hmm -hmm. If we get strong enough, I bet we could. <laughs> eat them. Eat the crows. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Spare, spare scraps. Spare scraps is what I said. There's no option to eat the crows this time, thankfully. One. We will make them our army against the witch. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We need to start gathering our power. You head to your kitchen, scrounging up some nuts and bits of old bread, before returning to the murder outside. Tossing the morsels to the ground, you step back to give the birds some space. A few of the braver ones eventually swoop down and start to peck at the scattered bits of food. You sit back down, spending a relaxing afternoon watching them eat. <laughs> Did it say friend of bird? You've been kind to the birds, they always remember that. Mm -hmm. An eerie fog covers the road throughout town as you take a late night walk. Someone approaches you from behind. Their face obscured by the hood draped over them will kill them. You're the girl with the natural toxins, right? If you give me some, you'll be compensated well. Oh, because we're a poison mushroom. Accept the payment and give the man some of your toxic flesh. Deny the request and quickly go home. Deny the request and go tell a town guard. No option to kill him. Mm -hmm -hmm. Maybe if we help him, he'll teach us how to be an assassin. I still find it metal that a group of crows is called a murder. It is really cool. Did you know that like it's crows are known to um, investigate like other dead crows? Like if a crow, um, if a crow dies, then a bunch of crows will come to like, like a little crow funeral, and they'll, um, <laughs> the birds are the government. No, there's still this army against the witch. <laughs> yeah, but like crows will like investigate like um, other dead crows to like learn how to not die, in the same way. Crows are very very smart. Uh, he didn't see how much. Oh, that's a good point. But maybe if we help him, he'll like... He'll help us kill the witch. <laughs> uh, accept the payment. Without concerning yourself with the consequences, you happily break off a piece of yourself and give it to the hood figure. They pay you and say to be ready for a larger payment if things go well. Then disappear into the fog. Our humanity went down. <laughs> Later you hear rumors that the king's brother <laughs> Later you hear rumors that the king's brother has recently passed away under unusual circumstances. And a day later another bag arrives mysteriously at your home. <laughs> That's 
bad. This is bad. This is bad. As you grow older, you look back over your life. You th think back to the witch who created you, and cal can't help but wonder if everything met her expectations. You wonder if you were the daughter your parents had hoped for. Uh, after all this time, is this the end already? <gasps> that was really fast. Wow. <laughs> I feel like that, that felt shorter than the first round, but I feel like a lot more things <laughs> happened. Okay, let's, 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 let's remember what we did in her life. We, we suplexed a pig. We, we fought a witch. We, uh, <laughs> we got the king's brother killed. It was very eventful. And nothing bad happened. You're right, we didn't suffer any consequences. We killed so many people and nothing bad happened. There was a social experiment experience with crows, with crows where they had two groups of people be mean and ni slash nice to them. They learned to attack the mean people and even told other crows about it. Yeah, and if I, I've heard stories of people who like, who are like nice to crows, crows will bring them like gifts of things. We were dedicated to violence. We were, we were. And I feel like we lived a pretty good life anyway. Oh, 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 oh. And I heard a story about um, this family that was like very, very um, nice to crows. And one of, the, one of the people in the family was a photographer. And they uh, accidentally dropped their camera lens off a bridge while they were taking pictures. And like a crow uh, picked it back up and like brought it to their house for them. Mm hmm. I would I would love to have an army of crows. Oh, that's right. We did. We ate worms. We ate worms. Perfect child. Daddy still raised her well. I don't know if I should have all the credit. I feel like I feel like like everyone in chat were parents for that one. True gremlin lifestyle. Mm hmm. Uh, if you have a debt, it takes. The place of the end goal event, like the wolves last time. Ah, I see, I see. Mm -hmm -hmm. But do we level up from the assassination? We got paid, I think. <laughs> I've got crow friends who bring treasures. <gasps> That's really cool. That's really cool. I, gosh, I would love to have like crow friends. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. <gasps> Two mushrooms. I'm really curious what these star symbols mean. Do like the different stars mean like they're different like rarities of mushroom? Mm -hmm. Gosh, I really actually I want to collect all the mushrooms in this almanac. Everyone in chat was just a demon on someone's shoulder. No, we were all we were all parents. We were all parents. Mm -hmm. We we raised we raised Ophelia together. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. so yeah, everything that happened was everyone's responsibility. I think for now, I think I'm gonna leave it off there for now. I if you guys wanna check out like what other mushrooms you can grow, uh, you guys should go and check out the itch.io page in the description of this video and go get the game for yourself and play around with it. It is very fun. <laughs> Hold on. What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Fairy blood. Oh, wait, you unlock different... Hold on, hold on, hold on. You can unlock different color schemes for the menu. That's really cool. That's all. That's like um. Mm -hmm, that's really cool. Okay, sorry, I got distracted. Um. <laughs> Thank you guys. Can't wait to see your other child breakfast burrito. <laughs> that's next stream. That's next stream. 
Thanks for playing our game. You had a lot of fun watching. It was... I had a lot of fun playing playing it. I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye out for more updates to the game. And I'll definitely be playing this again. Uh, okay. But for now, uh, I think I will end things here. Thank you all for coming with me on this, on, on this stream. And I will see you all on the next adventure. Goodbye! Thank you.